So if this film is the last one in the entire Jurassic Park franchise, it would indicate the best time for another aquatic creature to appear alongside the Mosasaurus. And of course, when you do boil it down, the leading option is the Plesiosaur. This creature has been featured in the Jurassic Park franchise so far, but it's mainly been outside of the movie. There were storyboards in Jurassic World of this creature, but again, it never showed up in the actual film. And I do believe a good amount of fans are expecting to see this creature show up in some form. We have always talked about how this creature would be made, and what its role would be. Essentially, it would be made by Biosyn, and it would be very similar to the Atrociraptor pack. Very much like how they are made to rival the Velociraptor, the Plesiosaurus would rival the Mosasaurus. And of course, this would ignite some sort of battle. You would have these two aquatic creatures fighting for the first time, and we would finally see the first true underwater battle in the Jurassic Park franchise. But the thing is, though, in a one versus one situation, the Mosasaurus would dominate, and this may become one of the shortest battles in the entire franchise. So with that being said, they would need more than just one plesiosaur. They are very small compared to the mosasaurus, so having two or three of them, it would make for a much more even fight. It almost makes for a very similar dynamic to the T-Rex versus Velociraptors in Jurassic Park. In a 1 vs 1, the Velociraptor really stands no chance. It can jump on the T-Rex's back momentarily, but eventually the T-Rex will shake it off, and then finish the battle with one bite. However, when there are three Velociraptors, the fight is much more even. Despite that though, the larger and more powerful carnivore usually comes out on top, so that likely would be the case with the Mosasaurus, and that's what you would expect. This creature has been very significant in the Jurassic World trilogy, so if it does finally fight something else, and it dies off, then it kind of lowers the value of what Jurassic World and Fallen Kingdom did. Overall, though, outside of this fight, I think the Mosasaur should have a lot more scenes. This movie has a lot of potential in many ways. It could be a mixture of dinosaurs on mainland as well as Jaws. You have this gigantic aquatic creature in the ocean, and we already saw the very end of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. It was very close to the shoreline, so that can be a side storyline in Jurassic World Dominion, and it will help to enhance the film. For all of you though, what do you think about this? When it comes to the Mosasaurus in this film, should it fight a Plesiosaurus or not? And should the Mosasaurus have a much more significant role? Write all of your answers down below, and if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe if you want, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and have a nice day.